bull riders get all the glory. But they're not really safe if it weren't for these bull fighters. They travel the rodeo circuit too. There are some things about these fighters that would surprise you, as we'll see in this week's Day in the Life. I've been grew up into the, the rodeo world, you know, so either rodeo or your rodeo. If you don't rodeo, you're kind of weird. But it's super awesome to come to Houston, to rodeo Houston, and do our jobs in front of that many people and showcase our talents there. It's nice out here at uh, Rodeo Village because we're, we're away from all the noise and stuff. And we'll drive to the arena and I'll just leave all my gear there throughout the duration of the whole event. Uh, we got a locker room that's you know, locked away from everybody that can't get in, so all our stuff's secure and taken care of. It's definitely nice being in the, an environment where you, you are treated like a professional athlete. And I got a, I got a good pair of shoes that i uh, got good footing with that I'll put on for the bull riding alone. Probably my most important piece of equipment is my knee braces. I used to not ever paint my face, and every one day I seen Mike Tyson's face tattoo, and I was like, oh, that's cool, I should try to do something like that. And our vest. High density foam with a good hard shell plastic put on there that kind of deflects the horns and different things that'll that'll hit you. Uh, a bull that we're dealing with is anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. That's about the size of a Volkswagen Bug. Obviously, outweigh us, outrun us. Four legs outrun two legs any day of the week, you know. So we have to be mentally prepared big time, but also we have to be physically prepared too because you can be mentally prepared, but if you're out of shape and you can't do nothing, then you you can't go some of the best bullfighters ever work here. So it, it's cool to be able to step into the arena with them. But also we, we, we've worked with each other so much that we know pretty much what each other's gonna do. So we can kinda be one step ahead of the game. And Clean up the edges, get them lines a little bit straighter. About to go to work. Got uh, eight mean ones tonight. So, see you out there. Texas, Idaho, Oklahoma, and Georgia. In right. this Super Series. Georgia. It is in a hurry up, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are professionals at what they're doing, and to see this herd come up, and especially these three guys, they're, in my opinion, the best three in the world. The hospitality here at Houston's great. I mean, we get to come in here and, and pretty well live like rock stars for, for three weeks. <laughs> 